the goal of the World Tour in terms of going to three countries, four straight nights, and has it accomplished that goal? Um, yeah, so, so, you know, we wanted to do this World Tour, obviously, you know, uh, we talked about going to Texas too, and, um, you know, obviously Dublin made a lot of sense, but there's no way Floyd was going to go to Dublin. Did it directly say no in oh, Dublin? Oh, absolutely. Was, I mean, this is close to Dublin. We're in London. And this is this is hostile territory for him right now. Imagine if we're in Dublin. I mean, that guy's got to go stay at a hotel somewhere and you know get in a car and drive somewhere. I I, if I, I wouldn't go to Dublin either if I was him. Did I don't you, blame. Did you ask him? Did you ask him personally if you were going to Dublin? No, I Al Heyman. Yeah, I talked to Al Heyman about it. He's like, yeah, we're not going to Dublin. <laughs> Dana, um, Connor was making three about three million in his uh, last fight. Now he's going to be making. It's not true. All right. Yeah. But he's going to be making a lot more for this one. I mean, how confident are you that after this fight, he's still going to have the motivation to continue fighting? With yeah. You can never be confident about that. Um, you know, we we just we just sold the company a year ago, and there were a lot of guys that I work with and the young guys that made a lot of money, and they're gone. <laughs> they're sitting home doing nothing. So. Uh, you know, you, you can say that you think you'll stick around. Connor can say, you know, I'm going to fight again this year, but you don't know. <clears throat> you don't know until you get that check and cash it, whether you're going to stick around or not. That's when you find out if you really love what you're doing, especially in the fight business, you know. It takes a certain type of person to want to get out of bed and get punched in the face every day when you got that much money in the bank. So Dana, can you go back to talking about the World Tour again? You're going, you're selling out places, again, just for a press conference. The thought process behind it, and has it accomplished the goal that you guys wanted? Um, you, you know, I, I don't know if there were, you know, as far as accomplishing goals, the, the, the thing about the press tour and doing this press conference it, it, it was to see this thing play out between these two. So there was this talk about these two fighting, right? I said, no, this isn't going to happen. Started to build up with the fans, started to build up with the media, and then it gets to the point where I'm on ESPN one day, and I said, you know what? I'll give you $25 million, Floyd, for this fight. He hangs his watch out the window to TMZ and tells him, you know, I don't know if the watch cost $25 million or what the deal was, but, you know, I got a really expensive watch. And, uh, you know, $25 million is a joke. And that started the negotiation process. And from right there, it just it went so fast. And realistically, this was the first time we were going to see these two together in the same room, face-to-face -face and, 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 you know, verbally going at it. And we started to pick off cities that, that, that we wanted to go to. And, uh, you know, we knew it was going to be big. But, I mean, Staples Center sold out like that. Barclays sold out like that. We had to get a bigger venue in Toronto, uh, do like 16500 because the other one was too small. And then London, 10 minutes. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's been incredibly successful. And, and I think that, um, you know, a fight that people were already excited about, people are just insane about now. Thank you. Just going back to 